So welcome to Cleaning with Jazzy. Um, my uncle just moved out, so it has a lot of work to be done. We got dishes to do. I just dumped all that out of a drawer. The counter is looking pretty nice. It's messy everywhere, so. And I was cleaning and I got a lovely little surprise. Let's see if he'll pop out. Oh, he's right there. And he surprised me and scared the crap out of me. And then after he scared the crap out of me, my uncle walked in the front door and scared the crap out of me. So it's been a fun, fun little ride. Got laundry to do. Got a lot of organizing, sweeping and vacuuming to do. Got a lot, a lot of sleeping to do. A lot, a lot of sweeping to do. And just cleaning in general. This is my new pet, okay? He's not happy, he's very angry right now. I'm gonna look at him a little bit and then I'm gonna release him because, or her, because it looks very angry. Look at his little face. Let me go let the spider outside now. I have to do all these dishes back here. Which is not fun, mind you. But first things first, I gotta eat. So we got some vanilla Greek yogurt that has like, oh, 15 grams of protein, 14 grams of protein. And then we got classic HEB brand granola, which has six grams of protein in it. That looks like a good one. And I still don't have a dining table, so I just have to eat it right here on the counter. Editing Jazzy here, and I just want to say, let me get, there you go. I just want to say that truffle salt is the most, it, you need truffle salt. If you don't have truffle salt, black truffle salt specifically, in your cabinet to season things, you need to go to the store immediately, or order it online, or something, because I, I think I'm in love with it. it. It's like the butter of salts or seasonings, I don't know, but it's amazing, and you need it. Cook to me. I'm getting better at cutting, I mean, cutting, cooking chicken. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see that? Perfect. And I just, it was like slicing through butter. Let's see. So I'm talking about 
That's some good chicken. That's gonna be, I don't even like chicken, but that's gonna be some good chicken. I think I used, I don't remember what I used. So I decided to meal prep a bit with this chicken that I made, which I haven't tried yet, so I should probably try it. But it looks pretty good. And granted, I don't really like chicken, but chicken has a lot of protein in it. And something that I learned fairly recently is that people with ADHD can benefit from a high protein diet, especially when you get protein in the morning versus later in the day. So I've been trying to get more protein in my diet. And I mean, to be honest, it has helped my focus a lot. The combination of getting more protein and also um, getting more sleep, like consistent sleep, because I get great quality sleep. It's more the quantity of sleep that I don't get. Like, or the consistent quantity of sleep that I don't get. I have one, two, three, four, five. Five meal preps right here. I probably won't eat all the chicken that I put in it, but that's okay because that means I can just eat it another day. I made um, the chicken and then I made the tea and then I'm gonna make some eggs, some boiled eggs. I'm trying to fit all this chicken in here. It's fairly difficult to fit it in here. Sauces would be nice, but I don't feel like making a sauce. So, and if you see me wear this shirt more than once, we don't talk about it, okay? I like this shirt. I wore it to bed, then I decided to wear it during the day. And oh my god, is that a piece of metal? Okay, I can't do this. So we're just gonna do that. I'm tired of cleaning also. I still have a lot to do because I have a lot of from this aluminum foil. Don't use aluminum foil. Just spray the pan next time. That's what I'm telling y'all. A lot of people I know have issues making chicken. I don't like chicken, but I Google it often, every single time probably, except this was the first time I didn't Google how to make chicken. Cause I always like, I'm like, well, what do I set the oven on? I'm like, I don't know. What do I set this on? How long do I leave it in there for? I have no clue. I gotta remember to stand up straight. And I gotta wash this now because if I don't wash it now, I'm not gonna wash it later. Not gonna happen. Um, I don't feel like filming me cleaning anymore, so I'll fill the film or cooking right now today. This at this moment, so I'll film the finished product. Um, well, actually, it's not going to be the finished product because I'm still missing a dining table, chairs. I don't have an entertainment center. We have to move the giant TV that's my friend's downstairs because it's not mine, but he's letting me borrow it until he finds a place. And my mom said it would look untasteful if I had a dresser with a giant TV on top of it. Which I am like, who cares? I'm a college student, I'm poor. It's okay if I don't look that tasteful in my house right now. Because if I could, I'd have a shiny chandelier hanging from the dining room table. But I can't afford that because I pay money. I mean pay money. Ugh, I can't even talk right now, I'm so tired. And these chickens are still hot, so I have to leave them out. And I only have two lids. I don't know how I ended up with only two lids. I have to clean this fan over here and this other one down here. I have to wash clothes. It's just this one, these two. It's just one of them days. So bad. I slept wrong and my back hurts. And I just moved. Okay, well, I'm gonna boil some eggs also right now, cook some rice for the delicious chicken, which actually let me taste on camera before I end this. Taste this piece right here. Okay, it's a little bit salty, but it's really freaking good. Oh my God, that is the best chicken I've ever made. And I don't even like chicken. I don't even like chicken, but you season that, you season that chicken with some seasoning. I eat that chicken. Which is why I'm learning how to season my chicken. Cause I don't like chicken. I just don't like it. It's not for me. The only reason I eat it is because the high protein content, 
versus the amount that you eat because I don't eat a lot of not meat but like meat products I mostly eat like too much tuna because of mercury poison but I heard that was a tree anymore but I have no clue if it's true or not so I try to incorporate chicken a little bit into my diet and I do eat ground beef every once in a while which I also probably am gonna make today and I'm probably gonna freeze it so it's already made see you gotta go when you got when you got ADHD and anxiety and depression and you freak out a lot you have to pick a day that day you're motivated you cook all your meals for like as long as you can usually I make a pot of soup and I put it in containers and I stick it in the freezer you can control the amount of salt in it sugar in it it's healthier you can blah 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 also if you're getting the ache with certain meals you only have to pull out one meal and then you're like oh I don't want the rest so it's in the freezer it's gonna last a while you're not wasting food I literally, I'm pretty sure there's a cucumber that's going bad. I don't know if my cabbage is bad. Okay, my water's boiling. I gotta go make these eggs. Kinda, oh, the, the water's really boiling. I actually don't remember when I'm supposed to put the eggs in for boiled eggs, so. I think you're supposed to put them into like six to eight minutes. I don't remember if it's before, during, or after the water's boiling, so I need to Google that. I gotta go, I gotta go. But every, everything pretty much looks good in there. Here's. Here's this area. It's a uh, a lot cleaner than it was. The piano station on my keyboard. The next goal is to take care of this fish stuff since all the fish have passed away. And then I need to shred paper and then when I get the bookshelf, I can put the books on the bookshelf. And then I also need to file paper. But I cleaned both fans, I swept, I moved my bikes. But yeah, I'll keep y'all updated.